welcome. Um, in behalf of our Philippine Embassy team, I'd like to welcome you here to Ambahai. This is uh, the Philippine Ambassador's residence, and, and you are in Philippine territory. <laughs> so, um, let me just uh, present to you the Philippine Embassy team who will be your foster parents during your stay here in the coolest little city in the world, which is? Well, okay. Before, before we start, uh, I'd like to say it's a great honor and privilege for the Philippine Embassy and the Filipino community to host you here in New Zealand, our world famous, internationally acclaimed, and multi awarded and world class talent, Lobok Children's Choir! Yay! 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 It's, it's so wonderful to have you here this evening, and uh, just to let you know, uh, that they have wowed, wowed audiences in Auckland. Oh. They have uh, captivated and mesmerized them, and they have really proven uh, that indeed the Philippines is home to world-class talents, <laughs> and that they are our young bearers of culture and our very young ambassadors of friendship and goodwill. <laughs> and we are so proud and so inspired by their presence here, and they're so loving and lovable. Uh, when I was interviewed by the radio, Rex of Hot Radio, he, he really asked me, um, these children are young and uh, they come from, from uh, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as, uh, not, out, not in a city, and, but yet they have been so much recognized in the world stage. So I, he, my, his question was, uh, how, does, how do the children react? to the acclaim and the accolades. I, I, uh, my, 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 own, my only answer to them is they're unaffected. <laughs> they still uh, remain to be wonderful and natural children. They just love to sing. And they sing it with all their hearts and soul and they really just love to say that they are Filipinos and that they are doing this for God, country, and people. Correct answer? Yes. <laughs> So with that, I'd like to first uh, introduce the Philippine Embassy team, um, your, your, your loving parents during your stay here in Wellington. So you have Tita, Arlene, Makaisa. And then the, behind her is our finance officer, the, the Tita Divine Cruz. Then the other, there, there the other ones are property officer, Tita Monet Garcia. And then, there, oh, just like you. <laughs> you. You can be a member of the choir. <laughs> our, 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 what, our collecting officer, Tita Bell Garcia. Yeah. Yes. And then, oh, there, uh, <laughs> okay, our cultural officer and my secretary, Tita Maribik Reyes. Where else? Oh, sir. Oh, there. <laughs> our vice consul, uh, Tito, Tito Glenn. Who else? Nikki. Ah, Nikki. Of course, I can see you. <laughs> Oh, you see, Nikki, the Tita Nikki Garcia, our information Woo! officer. Um, late, late, uh, later on, Tita Arlene will give you a briefing of who your foster families would be. Uh, but uh, right now, I just would like to ask uh, uh, the children, the Lobok Children's Choir, to please introduce yourselves. You see how smart they are. <laughs> please. Hello, good evening everyone. I'm Odilo Gimaling, 14 years old. And I'm a professional of Yes! Hello everyone, good evening. My name is Vivian Vivian Flor. I'm 13 years old. 
Assistant Director Noel Care Caneda. Noel. Que hora? Que hora? I'm Noel. I'm 12 years old. Before. Before. I'm 26 years old and been in the choir. I've been teaching the choir for three years, uh, almost three years already. I 
I once became a member of this choir for seven years also. Wow. No. Thank you for welcoming us and having us here. Thank you. Proudly wow. present to you their accompany, accompanies, Tito Boy Clemencio Barquez. Tito Boy! You'll see him how he creates music with the piano. <laughs> um, I, I, there, of course, their master teacher, Lisa Mondilia. Lisa. Thank you for inviting us. I know we will, um, uh, we will experience many things from in this country. I know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, they say behind every successful woman is a man. The anchor, the wind beneath the wings. Uh, Mr. Hidol Taudo. and with gratitude for to God and to the Lobok Children's Choir and of course to their to their patron patron uh, the chairman of Liwaiwai Corporation Owishi uh, Mr. Carlos Chan and his family uh, they were the ones who made it possible for the choir to come and and also uh, the choir has been really making waves as they come here on a journey of friendship and a journey of uh, cultural immersion, educational linkages, and people-to-people -people connectivity. Their first stop was Auckland. And boy, you should see Auckland, the way uh, they were received so warmly in Auckland, the way they were applauded, and the way they were that they, they inspired uh, the, the, the Othia Youth Symphony and the Auckland Girls Choir. Uh, so congratulations to all of you again. And now that you are in Wellington, it's a great honor and privilege to, for us to receive you here. Um, I'd like to thank the, my embassy team, who are the foster parents and the loving parents. And you will be with us for the next couple of days. And we are. We hope that uh, you will feel that you are with family. And I'd like to also introduce to you the organizers, our partners for your Wellington leg. Uh, these are the. Uh, members of the Bulwagan Foundation Trust and Exceptional Communications, and they're the ones who are doing the groundwork to make uh, to make sure that your performance on June 12 would be another outs outstanding and astounding one. And this is again uh, uh, another um, uh, another wonderful opportunity to showcase Filipino talent. And I also would like to thank uh, you later, the, our sponsors, our general sponsors, who some of them, some of them are here tonight, and you will see them, I'll let them stand. And of course, our friends from the Filipino community who are connected, who are related to the, to the Lobok Children's Choir. So with that, let me just uh, say, I introduce you first, you know, Tita Odi, 
Did it say something? <laughs> I don't know what to say I could eat, but um, for the past five days, because I was there, day one, um, uh, I, I, I was, yeah, I was at the uh, airport to welcome them, and um, that past five days, it was really enjoyable. I'm kind of tired, but I enjoyed it. So I hope... Um, you feel warm enough, you know, not just literally, but um, you felt the warm welcome of people in New Zealand and of course here in Wellington, where I, I am based. So, welcome again. And um, yeah, I'll be with you until you go to um, Christ, uh, yeah, Christchurch and Sid, um, not Sydney, but up to Christchurch. Yes. I'm, I'm prepared. Sorry. <laughs> That's you're doing well. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And of course, our partners of, uh, from Exceptional Communication. So, Shilpa. Shilpa. <laughs> Enjoying a lot here and more, much more to come over here. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Tango Fafinoa or Philippines, uh, no my haramai ki roto i te puku or Tango Fafinoa or Aotearoa, no my haramai. It's not true. It's not true. learning of the Maori. She's really a good friend from the Maori community. Charmaine! <laughs> wow, all I can say is wow. <laughs> you know, uh, we've um, now, we've just adopted a whole lot of new mukuku. <laughs> We've got lots of grandchildren here and I can't wait to hear you sing. I know my grandson wants to hear you sing because I keep talking about you to him. Um, he now gets on the Facebook. So you're very famous, not just here in New Zealand, but worldwide. You know, and that says a lot for the Philippines. I mean, a lot because your culture is being spread all around the world. And you know, that is a, a feat in itself, an achievement in itself, and I can't wait to be part of this for you. So, Thank yes, you. we'll see you on Friday. I'll be there with the banner. <laughs> <laughs> and, and please applaud and applaud and ask for an anchor. <laughs> Say more, more, more. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. I'm on radio, don't say. Anita, Anita, you will tell about uh, about uh, the organization and what uh, what she has been doing. She's a, one of the leaders of the Filipino community. Tita Anita, please. I'm my young baby, my young son. Ah, I'm sorry. 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 So I'm just waiting to hear your voices and you can also see our kids dancing as well. So we can have kids. See you on Friday. <laughs> Thank you. She's the head of the Philly Fest group, the one, the most professional and talented group of dancers and really dancing very uh, genuine and traditional Filipino dances. You will, and she's been very support, very supportive of the embassy, and she's been also one of uh, the groups that have been promoting the richness and the artistry of Filipino culture, especially in the performing arts. Uh, I before I go there, I ask, uh, did I miss someone? Then ah, uh, Tita Alice, come on, Tita Alice, one yes. member of the organizing committee. Yes. She will feed you. Yes. <laughs> she's the one who will feed you yeah. during your. Um, Tita Alice Lozano is also a member of the Philippines. I'm speechless because I'm fearful to see kids like my brother to New Zealand. Reminds me a lot of, of course, of my siblings. And then to see a group like you at your age and then here promoting our heritage and culture, I just want to welcome everyone. 
and we're looking forward to see you on Friday and I hope I can feed you with what you want. <laughs> <laughs> you, all, you feed them not only with food but with your love. Yeah. With your love, Tita Alice. I know you. We're close, the heart is close. And then, let me, where, uh, uh, there, uh, Tita Agnes, one of our sponsors, general sponsors. Yeah. Agnes, Tita Agnes, come. come. Say much because I think the one who holds the purse is the Argentinian. Yes, I think so. Tito Agnes and Tito Ricardo yeah. from well, Tactics. Uh, it's a Come pleasure on. to welcome you all. Before I came tonight, I looked at your YouTube. Yes. I know that you had been to Holland, uh, a beautiful country, had been there, and of course, your performance and basically. <coughs> Indeed, it's world class. So I'm very much looking forward, okay, on Friday on your performance. And I have invited a lot of my Kiwi friends, okay, to be in the audience. So your Tito Ricardo and I are very, very pleased that we were asked to be one of your sponsors for your show, okay? And enjoy Wellington. Wellington is one of the coolest city in the world. When the weather is fine, yeah. nothing could beat Wellington. Yeah. You have to make sure that you will have a time to walk along Oriental Bay. And I will not be surprised if some of you would say, I love to live in New Zealand. Dream, experience, and it will happen. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Mama. 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 <laughs> well, all I can say is I'm very, very proud of you guys. Watching you guys in Auckland, the moment I was just saying to them, I was texting people there and I was told them not to text. <laughs> I was saying, oh my God, you should hear this. The first note that you actually that came out of your mouth and you started singing, my, oh, I can feel it. I, we are at the very, very back, but I can feel it, and I don't know what to say. But you know what? I'm a member of the Wellington Filipino Community Choir, and, and I'd love to learn from you guys. <laughs> and we'd love to get your discipline and your commitment and your hard work. And I'm really, really, very proud of all of you. And and then I could never be proud as a Filipino. And so um, I know that people are in for a big. Um, a, a treat on Friday, and once again, thank you so much for coming, and do come back. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Tita Alma, thank you very, very much, sir. No, um, you guys are amazing for all the dedication that you've given to the kids. They told us about you guys, and um, they said that they are great now because you, through the dedication that you've given, to them, especially mm -hmm. Tita Alma. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, let me just also acknowledge our friend, Filipino community, please. Uh, the relatives. <laughs> Come. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so, please uh, introduce yourself and say something. So I'm sure you will watch with the whole barangay. With the whole barangay. So you will see see Tita Pina and Tita Rose who are part of and Tito Andy were part of the Ambahai crew. So with that I'd like to just say welcome so much again. We welcome you with our hearts. And we are all here for you. Please keep tagging for just a short briefing of your activities. Good evening. I'll make this very short. I just wanted to let everyone know that when they went to Wellington Young Voices earlier, they really, I think they stunned WYV. <laughs> because, uh, because of the way they perform, even in practice, they're so professional and they're so good that, you know, Wellington Young Voices, their director, Christine, 
already said that the Wellington Young Voices have to up their ante on the game. So let's, uh, on Friday, I'm sure everybody is going to have a good time. But uh, let me just give you a run through. I'm sure Noel, you went through this already, but uh, let me just give you a run through what we're going to do while you're in Wellington. We have a lot to do. Uh, this, yeah, you have a lot on your schedule, but we do have free time. We have La Quacha once in a while. So tomorrow, we're going to the South Wellington Intermediate School. You'll be there for the whole day, the whole school day. Uh, you'll be welcomed by the students. You'll be buddied up with the students. You'll have interaction with them in class with the music department. And then you're going to sing for, uh, for them and for another school which is coming to visit them, Newtown School. And then in the afternoon, um, we go to, a sound, you're doing a sound check at Pipitea Marai. Tita Dina and Tita Odi and them will be there to make sure that you guys sound as beautiful as, yung turay na tunog nyo like, you know, in the, in the gala performance. And then on Wednesday the 10th, we're going back to South Wellington Intermediate School at, at 10 o'clock because you're, there's a performance there for another school, uh, Berhampur School, another uh, neighboring school in, uh, uh, near Swiss, near South Wellington. Then we're going back to the embassy for lunch and then we go on tour of Government House. Government House is a beautiful house. It's the house of the Governor General, the representative of the Queen of England in uh, New Zealand. So it's a... Uh, we, we, find, we got you a slot for, to go there, so um, I, I'm looking forward to it. I've never been in there either, so I'm going to tour with you guys. <laughs> and then uh, after the government house, we're going to visit the Papa Museum. It's what every Aucklander was talking about, the big uh, Peter Jackson uh, wax, uh, wax, uh, wax uh, caricatures of Gallipoli, of the soldiers in Gallipoli. And you get a free time there until 6 o'clock, we just go around, then we go home. And then on the 11th, we go to Kelburn Normal School. You have another full day there. It's like a regular class day. You buddy up with the students and you do a, um, a combined concert with their, with their choir. And then on the 12th of June, Independence Day, this is when we go through the Gurgela performance. We're expected to be at the Pipitea Marai to run through of the program by 1 o'clock. So we'll be at the Pipitea Marai by 1 p.m. And then until we reach, until the performance. And the WYV will be there by 4 p.m. So we were there first. And then on the, on Saturday, we, um, Lakwacha Day. We're going to tour the New Zealand Parliament, and then we're going to visit a few of the well-known places in Wellington, Victoria Lookout, uh, we're going to Weta Cave. We went to Hobbiton, but the Weta Cave is, this is where they design the, all those things that you saw in, uh, in Hobbiton. And then uh, we're going to have a photo op at the Wellington sign. I don't know if you saw it while you were landing. There's a huge white Wellington sign on the, on the side of the cliff. We're gonna go there and have our photo taken. And then in the evening, we're going to Mass at the Sacred Heart Cathedral, where uh, you will be performing at least two songs. But I, I'm not quite sure yet. This may change. It may be, uh, I'm not sure if they would ask you to sing for the, for the Mass. But at least the, what I know right now is that you will sing two songs before the final blessing. And then the after, after the Mass, it's rest time. Now we go home. And on Sunday the 14th, we go to Abundant Life Center, where you will be also performing for at least 30 minutes. But it's going to be a fellowship. It's where the ambassador's um, uh, worship is. And then 1.30 onwards, it's free time. We're going to visit Botanical Gardens of Wellington and visit the War Memorial, another Peter Jackson, uh, another Peter Jackson, Peter Jackson presentation. And on, on the 15th of June, on Monday, we go to a different part, Lower Hut. We're going to St. Bernard's College. Another full day, another school day for you. The same setup as the other, as the other uh, schools, buddy up uh, with the students, go around, have a little concert. And then on the 16th of June, we're going to a different, uh, not, a high, not a high school this time, but an intermediate, a university. It's Aotearoa University in Poriru. I think it's the farthest we're going to take you while you're in Wellington. And it's the same setup 
um, we're greeted, you have, uh, we're toured around the school, you have lunch there, and then have a little, uh, have a little music uh, ceremony with them. And then the 17th of June, that is when our show goes on. The ambassador is hosting the diplomatic reception for the government, uh, for the host government of New Zealand, as well as the diplomatic corps of New Zealand, as well as some other guests. So there will be others, many others who will see you perform as well on, on that, in that venue. And on the 18th, we're gonna be sad because we're gonna see you go. We're gonna you'll be flying to Christchurch, but Odia and I will be with you. And, uh, amb and the ambassador will be following us in the next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Uh, just, I, I'm not um, holding you before dinner, but let me. I, I, I just want to take this wonderful opportunity to give you a written feedback from the head of the Auckland Girls Choir in Auckland. And let me read this to you. And I could see that she was really writing it from his, from her heart. So she said. I am so grateful and thrilled that Becca made contact with you so that the Auckland Girls Choir could be involved in the concert on Saturday. What a triumph it was for the Lobok singers. They are a real inspiration and role model. My girls were just blown away by, <laughs> by all that they did, the different staging and movements for each piece. They were so well rehearsed that they did not need a conductor. <laughs> and their enthusiasm was so infectious to those listening. It was lovely that both choirs had some time to meet and talk and enjoy each other. And the photos! What fun they will all have reminiscing over them. It is a joy to see a group of young people who so obviously love their music and performance and who have been so well trained. Their performance does not show the trauma that they have gone through in losing so much from earthquakes. Please pass on my sincere congratulations to the music directors, accompanists, and tour leaders. I have taken choirs for many overseas tours, and I am well aware of the tremendous amount of planning, organization, and details that have to be done. For me, their performance was a real highlight, and I have never seen a choir of their age so polished and musically able as they are. I hope the girls enjoy their travel south and that they receive as great a reception as Auckland gave to them. It was thoroughly deserved. The ambassador and consul must be bursting with pride at what was achieved as well as your dear self. And also thanks to David, David is David Joyce, as his, whose meticulous preparation made everything ra, land, run like clockwork. Kind regards and God's richest blessings on you all. Leonie. So. Request to Tita Alma, since you will all, I know you are hungry, but if you can get only five minutes of your time uh, to give us a preview yeah. of uh, the music that is the heavenly music, the angelic voices that you are that we will be that we will be that are so unsung heroes of our country. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
lips aloud. My, 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 give me love.